Okay, Alex. Um, welcome to uh, Exeter City Football Club. Um, although you know, we did see your name on the team sheet for Northampton just two days ago. Uh, that's where you've come on on loan from today. Um, that was must have been a strange scenario for you, kind of having your name on the one side of the team sheet, knowing full well you're going to be joining up with us this week. Very, yeah. And obviously, uh, I spent a couple of days training with the Exeter lads uh, the week before, so uh, I, I knew all the lads there and. Yeah, it was very strange, um, but obviously I was contracted to Northampton, so if I if I did get thrown on uh, the weekend, I would have had to try my best for them, obviously. But uh, you're here now, and like you say, you've, you've trained with Exeter City once or twice before, and uh, how has that been? How did you enjoy that when you came down last, you know, like a couple of weeks ago? Yeah, it was great. Obviously, um, I, I met I met Steve and the manager, um, and they were very welcoming. Um, and obviously, yeah, they're a great bunch of lads in the dressing room, and uh, I really enjoyed enjoyed my couple of days training with them. Yeah, it was uh, it was sharp, very sharp. Good. And um, let's go, going back, looking back over your career so far, looking at your CV, you started out um, started out at Walsall, and uh, and then moved on to Northampton. Tell us a bit about your sort of early career then. Uh, well, I, I went through the ranks at, at Walsall. Uh, started there as a 12 year old and uh, stayed till I was 24. Um, just learnt my trade there really, uh, played wide and, and up front, um, then moved on to Northampton uh, just for a, a bit of a new challenge um, and things were going great and obviously I, I suffered a bit of a bad injury. I mean you mentioned there that things were going well because I mean I think it was something like uh, eight goals in 19 games at the, at the time and am I right in thinking you got injured while you scoring a goal was that right against Port Vale? That was it yeah, uh, I rolled the ball in the net and uh, got, got hit a bit late after that but obviously that's in the, that's in the past now it's in the history books and I, I'm, I'm looking from today and I'm looking forward yeah I mean, not to sort of drag it up too much but um, you know I bet, I bet it has been a, a long road to recovery for you and stuff and I guess it must have been a pretty emotional time to to get back playing football again after such a long time on the sidelines yeah well it was a incredibly long time to be out um, but I, I've got a really supportive family and, and they, they helped me uh, every step of the way and uh, it was nice to, to get back into a bit of normality at the, at the start of pre-season with uh, getting back out on the pitch. Uh, played a few games through pre-season and uh, it was a great feeling and, and as you say it was, it was an emotional time. Yeah, they've always been one of those teams, you, you know sometimes you, you play certain teams that you, you're going to score but um, no, I mean, I've been lucky enough to, to score against Exeter a few times, but uh, hopefully do it for them.